what you're doing. I've been missing you. I've been waiting to show you what's up for your marrying this year. You, my God, liar. Relying. It's one and two. It's usually what you do, Cancer. <laughs> Welcome to your May reading for this current year. This is going to be a six-way Sunday's reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Right? So gather around, kids. If this resonates with you, no worries about it. If not, it's cool. Don't worry about it either. No biggie. If you want a personal reading, my email, the Facebook page, and my Instagram all down below. I'm open to take whatever y'all do. I'm also going to be doing a live stream tonight. I forgot to tell the Gemini all about that. God damn it. I think they were the ones. Always. But yeah, um, you can come on. I'm going to do a soulmate reading, and then like I'll take questionnaires. And you can ask whatever you want. Um, the most I'll be taking is $5 if you choose to donate. I'm not charging because fuck it, I don't charge any other time. Wouldn't be fair, right? But cancer we're going to see what's going on with you so huzzah <laughs> what is this is this like ptsd you feel like you're being betrayed or somebody betrayed you that's the vibration you're carrying but the dude with the swords is on this side so it's like whoever this person is this is who it's resonating for because they're looking at the ghost the ghost is the one bleeding to death on the shore like seven nation army when they couldn't hold him back, but he ended up bleeding all over the damn shore anyway. So it was just like, what was the point of you going home or going to war? It's a very, that's actually a very interesting song. It's kind of like one of those, you know, like, uh, going back and forth in my mind behind a cigarette, you know, like, that's really creepy, Cancer. <laughs> But you guys are creepy anyway. Uh, nine of Cups Reverse in the Wands and Wishes. That's a wish card, but it's like your wish just got dull. It got boring. You don't like it. Strength Reverse in the Fears and Rejections. Ten of Pentacles in the Situation. What the fuck is going on with y'all? Four of Cups in the Challenges as well as the Obstacles Coming Against You. Oh my god, Cancer, what? The Star Reverse in the Catalyst as well as... Final result, lack of communication. What is going on with you, Cancers? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Three of Pentacles reversed. You guys are just kerflunkle. Or this doesn't have to be Cancer. This is going to be someone dealing with Cancer. So let's just keep that in mind. But the cups are all fucky. Let me just put that out there. Your cups are fucky. I don't know why. And I, and I really get the sensation that... Um, You guys, I kept saying, like, be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. I'm pretty sure I started saying that last year with you guys, and I don't know why, but it's like, here it is again. Like, you guys get this a lot with me. Like, there's something that you wished for, and um, when it, once it came to you, it left you like this. You guys are probably going to be the longest one. I'm just letting you know right now. You guys are always my longest because you guys are my polar opposites. I'm a Capricorn. So it's kind of like I, I am so intrigued by you Cancers. I really am. It's just like you guys are so cute and fuddly. But you're like the most evil people ever if someone like crosses you. And you guys talk a lot of shit too. So I'm wondering if it has something to do with that. Um, but I don't know. I'm probably being really judgmental. And I'm sorry, but you should appreciate the fact that I talk shit. Because um, you guys tend to do it a lot. Like, that's the only people you can ever really do that with cancers with. Uh, cap reports. That's the only reason why we get along. We both like talking shit. But I feel like... But there's no communication here. So it's like nobody's really talking shit. You, got, you guys aren't yourself right now. You aren't really being your whole bubbly self and be like this bitch over here you know <laughs> like I, I like i don't know why i'm getting that right now it's like whoa it's like you guys are completely out of your element and if this isn't you this is someone dealing with you and and i'm picking that up too like they know something's wrong but i don't know what i, I need to stop talking Okay, so let's say that this reading is for this dude, because that's who I think this is. The person who ended up betraying this person over here. Um, it's like they're reliving that shit in their head over and over and over again. What exactly they did, how they did it, why they went about doing it. 
uh, what came of that. It's like they're examining this entire Five of Swords situation repeatedly. But here's that shit talk. <laughs> here's somebody um, spying. Here's someone trying to get out their information. Someone possibly gossiping. Um, someone possibly like going out of their way to smear campaign. Like with a narcissist. Like someone's just, no, 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 no. But, I, but I don't know if it's you or not. I mean, it could be you because this is your reading cancer, but it's like, that's swords. The, the only cups here are the ones that are like really fucky. Like yours is always intriguing because it's like, whatever I say about you guys, it's almost reflective to Capricorns too, but complete opposite. Like we're polar opposite. So it's like mirroring, right? But not, but not in the way you would think. I guess. Okay, there's definitely something going on with you, Cancers, and it's actually starting to piss me off. I don't like it. Like, I like you guys too much for that. But it's like, you got the Ten of Pentacles in a situation. This is the home, the family life. You can see the family all sitting on the pentacle couch. The penna couch, as we like to call it, up in my hood. Okay, I'm starting to sound like a nerd, right? But you don't feel fulfilled in this. You feel like all of your options are, um, dead. Almost, like... Like, nothing makes you happy. Ooh, there's a little bird. Little baby blue jay or a magpie. I really can't tell because they all look the same. But, like, this person has put up, put in so much energy and so much time to make this creative creation. Because, you know, I'm so great with the words and shit, right? Um, but it's like someone put so much time and energy into it. And then it was just kind of like, why the fuck... Did I do this? I still don't feel any better about a scenario. Like, if you guys didn't betray somebody, someone betrayed you, and that's who I'm picking up. Like, this is somebody who is, a um, Guilty conscience. That's what I feel like this is. This is a guilty conscience, because whatever this was, it stemmed from this wish, and whatever they wished for came true, and now they're not satisfied with it. Just like the Seven of Pentacles, it's like their options are all shit now. What is this Nine of Cups reverse in the wants and wishes? This was a wish. Um, this bitch has got a cheesy eaten grin, but that's what she had when she first made the wish. Now the wish has been here for a while, and it's like she's just smiling just to make herself look good. I reckon. Because she doesn't know what to do about this unfulfillment, I feel like. With the Two of Pentacles reverse, her, like, once again, it feels like she doesn't have any options. All of her options are shitty. Four of Cups down here. Loss, grief, shit like that. Like, feeling like everything you thought and believed, like... Like... Like, almost questioning how you were fucking raised. If that makes sense? Like... Because it's, it's almost like someone's living with a guilty conscience. You still don't know what to fucking do. You're still confused about things. You're still in this possession of loss and grief. And you have no idea what kind of direction you should take with it, Cancers. Or the person you might be dealing with, Cancers. Like, I don't want to think you guys are doing bad. Even though you normally do. And, like, like you'll eat somebody's cake in the refrigerator. And when they ask who ate it, you'll just keep your mouth shut if you feel like it. Not even to be mean. You just do that kind of shit. But you don't really think about it. But I almost feel like someone's really sitting here thinking about it and they really don't know what to do to remedy a situation of sorts. Like you got what you wished for and now you feel like that was a very, very bad idea. Um, this restriction, strength, could be Leo's card. It's reverse. Someone is restricting themselves. Um, someone is using all of their energy to keep themselves back. To not give anything. How do I know? Because they're not giving anything with the... Nine of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Could be dealing with a cat. This is like... I mean, there are, there are Pentacles in here, but it's like... None of... The only one that's really cool is the house, and even the house is like shitty. It's like, the house is perfect, but I'm bored and I need something to do. Like... <laughs> Like, that's what it almost feels like. Like, with the, especially with the Seven of, pen, of Cups, not Pentacles, Cups, you feel bored. You feel absolutely bored. And it's like.
Did you cheat on somebody and now you're feeling bad so you're trying to catch them up in some other shit? Because that'd be fucked up. But I, kudos to you for going that route, man. Because sure as fuck, I can't. I once knew this chick named Amy. Well, I still know her. But, like, God, she was a hoe. But I loved her hoeness. Like, I love hoes. As long as they hoe elsewhere from my man. <laughs> but it's like... You're restricting yourself from giving an offer, but this is, could also be someone restricting themselves from giving an offer to you. Like, it's been halted and shit, right? And I think that's come up for you guys a bunch of times. I'm pretty sure he, he comes up at least once in your shit, y'all. But I could be wrong, so... Bear with me. Um, the stop. Reverse. Communication is not happening. Someone's being arrogant about it. Someone doesn't want to deal with it. This is the catalyst as well as the final result. Oof. Oof. Yeah. No one's not communicating because they're in a third party situation that's leading to a breakup. Seriously, are you guys cheating? <laughs> like, I'm not faulting you guys for doing it. That's just what you do, you know? But it's like someone, I mean, the lack of communication is what's causing a breakup right here. A split. It's like you're not, it's like you or the person that you're um, dealing with aren't opening it up. So this can be a happy home. So this can be like the door open by the universe. So things can go and run smoothly the way that you want them to. It's like this lack of communication is what's blocking everything. Because you really don't know what the fuck to do. Um, you're hanging off these pentacles by the th with the three of pentacles right here reversed. What's the ending theme? Please, if you don't mind. Thank you. Offering your cup. Because you're hanging on by a thread? You know, like, Three of Pentacles talks about working things out, but sometimes at work, this could also denote, like, having a workplace um, romance. While you're in a relationship, that could happen, but it's like... This was almost like impulsive, immature. Not that it's ill intended though. Like, let's make that clear. There's no ill intention in any of this, but it's like, ew. Someone's efforts did not work out and like they just wanna off be happy. They wanna be childlike. They wanna be awesome and stuff. They wanna open up and like not have to worry about getting hurt. But unfortunately there's a, both the threes here or say, break up somewhere between three people. And it's like, whoever this person is that um, is stabbing the ghost with the sword is the person going out of their way to look for like naughty information or just the almost sabotage or start rumors or some shit like that. Whoever, like someone is betraying another person with their gossip. You know, like that's one thing I, I will say about cancers. Much like Capricorns, you put their personal business out there, you're done. Because that's like their personal shit. Of course, with cancers, they don't feel that same way with everybody. Like they'll put everybody's personal shit out there. Capricorns mostly will not. But both of them, you put their personal information out there, you're done. They will do anything to get at you. But I don't know if this is you, Cancer, or somebody else. Yeah. This relationship right here, um, the lack of fulfillment and feeling empty, the backstabbing right there, definitely relationship status. I feel like it's all because somebody wanted attention. You know, like this chick's just standing here. She's just like, ew, like me hold my belly. And like, he's just sitting there like, yeah, you hold that belly. Wait till I wrap this bandage around your ankle. <laughs> You're, I think you're putting up a front right here too, possibly Cancer, or this could be the person you're dealing with, Sagittarius, also Leo or Aries. Um, dealing with not knowing what to do or like feeling like you were unfulfilled with this. Someone's still sitting here looking pretty. Someone's by themselves for sure, but they, they're definitely in that energy of like, I look fabulous by myself and I don't fucking need you. Um, like total fucking queen status right this is usually Sagittarius's card for me because I'm Sagittarius rising that's why I run my mouth so much so just keep that in mind but this person like these people were in a relationship now this person's by themselves standing in her power and someone else is in the end burdened by supporting a family
Ten of Pentacles. Once again. How strange, Cancer. Like, two people were involved with each other, but then all this shit would happen, and now someone just rather would be by themselves than the other person is just sitting there supporting all these motherfuckers while feeling like nobody appreciates them at all. And, and you, Cancer, you have a habit of doing that. I really hope that's not happening. Like, don't let people who act like they give a shit about you who really don't cause you to um, support them. Like, I, I know this is, like, a weird piece of advice for me to give, but it's, like, sometimes, Cancer, you like to, like, give shit to the people who actually give a fuck about you, but you'll do anything in the world for people who treat you like shit, and I, and I just don't understand that sometimes, and I feel like this is the ending with this. It's, like, it, at some point, like, either you or the people that you're dealing with are going to end up on the bottom of a totem pole while everybody else has a good time, and you're wondering why nobody's there to, um, almost give you a break, you know? But that's your reading. Let me know in the comments below what everybody else, everybody thinks because I'm generally curious about this, Cancers. Um, I hope you guys aren't going through something horrible about this. I hope you, this is just you talking shit about a friend who's going through this because that I would be cool with. But this is like you guys are going through so much. Like I, I feel like y'all are dealing with nothing but trash pandas and you just need to get away from them. And it's pissing me off when people treat other people like shit, you know. That is, that, like, that is, like, my biggest pet peeve. Like, don't go after people who are weaker than you. Like, stand up to me, bitch. I'll fucking fight you. I, li I like, I like confrontations. <laughs> I mean, I won't confront, I won't confront someone who show me that they, they, they think that I'm worthless. But I will totally take up for somebody who needs it. But I definitely want to know what some of y'all are going through. But... Like I said, yours is the longest. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Hopefully some of you will join me for the live stream tonight. It's supposed to be like a soulmate thing. And then I'm going to do like questionnaires and shit. So if you want to ask a question, go ahead. I don't normally charge. But if you want to donate five after I answer some questions, go right ahead. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy. Love you. Bye-bye.